everyone. Alright, so it's been way too long since I did a baking video. So, today I'm going to make some peanut butter chocolate bars. And I want to show you everything that you're going to need. Okay. You are going to need one box of plain yellow cake mix. You're going to need one stick of melted butter. You will need one cup of peanut butter, creamy peanut butter, and two eggs. Uh, that's going to be for your cake mixture. You will also need two teaspoons of vanilla. You will need one 12 ounce pack of chocolate chips with an additional two teaspoons, or excuse me, two tablespoons of butter and one can of sweetened condensed milk. You will need to set your oven to 325 degrees. Alright, so this is what we will do. We will mix together the package of yellow cake mix. The uh, one stick of melted butter. That wasn't quite melted. Um, two eggs. And your whole cup of peanut butter. This measuring cup is amazing because you have one side for solids and then one side for liquids. It's, it's the lifesaver because see, to measure peanut butter, all you do is that and it's clean. You get you get all of the peanut butter out. You don't have to scrape a cup or anything like that. So, you mix all this together. Okay, in a 13 by 9 pan, which I have here, Please ignore my mess. You can't really see it, so it's good. You want to just lightly spray. Not a whole lot. Just lightly. Then spray your hands. Okay. So that your hands are nice and greasy and non-sticky. You want to take your dough. Roll it. And you want to save one and a half cups. You all can see this. Sorry if you cannot see it. Alright, so that's about a half cup and a half. It's got some air pockets in there, but it's okay. Take the remaining of your dough and plop it into your pan. Ooh, sorry, am I shaking you all? <laughs> and just work it till it covers the complete bottom of the pan. All right. I'm going to wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay. In a salt pan, you will melt together your two tablespoons of butter that you set aside, your 12 ounces of chocolate chips, I set my 
bowl on the hot stove. Okay. And the reason my chocolate is like this is because I've already used this and I just saved it. Alright, but over very, very, very low heat, you want to melt together your butter, your chocolate, and your can of condensed milk. Uh, yes, sweetened condensed milk. I'm sorry I'm left-handed. I should have put the camera on the other side. Okay, and this is another thing I have from Pampered Chef, is the mini spatula scoop. It's great. So, but anyway, I'm going to melt this over low heat until it's all completely melted and together, stirred together. Okay, now that your chocolate is pretty close to being completely melted together, you may still have a few little chunks in there, but you can just keep stirring. You will add your two teaspoons of vanilla. Should be pretty darn close to being completely melted. All right, you will take this. I don't know if you can see my pan or not. Let me see if I can zoom in. All right, you will take your mixture. Or the chocolate right over top of it yet again why I like pampered chef scoop and stir because it gets the pan completely melt pretty much scraped this is still hot all right so you're gonna spread your chocolate Mama. what babe? Alright, so once it comes out the oven, you have to let it cool completely. I put mine in the refrigerator overnight, um, but it has to be completely cool before you can cut it. 